We've got some curry powder there. Mr. Broccoli. For some reason, I always want to call this thing broccoli. Why is that, boy? Mr. Cauliflower. As well as some chickpeas. Hello, friends. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. I hope you guys checked out that behind-the-scenes video I shared a few days ago. Click somewhere here. I'll have a link to that. And this is prior to me filming this uh, this recipe here. Check that video out. You're going to like it. You're going to see how everything is done here on CaribbeanPod.com. We're doing a curry, but this time we're doing vegetarian. So my vegetarian friends, you're going to love this one. Cauliflower, chickpeas, you can't go wrong. It may seem like some boring ingredients, but trust me, the flavor we're adding here, mm, you're going to love it, man. Wicked chef for days. <laughs> Hi, Chris here, CaribbeanPot.com. Let's get cooked. Got my pot nice and hot, medium-high heat. Go in with a bit of that vegetable oil. And right away, we're going to go in with some chopped onion as well as some chopped garlic all the ingredients that I use here today and in any of the recipes that you're watching here on YouTube <clears throat> the ingredients will be down in the description or you can also go to CaribbeanPod.com for the full recipe including ingredient list while I have you guys attention um, click on the subscribe link you're going to see a subscribe thing show up here. It means you're going to get all the videos as they go live. So you're going to be the first people to see all these delicious recipes I'm sharing. Turn my heat down to low and let that go for about three minutes or so. We want that to soften up and really release that flavor um, for creating this lovely curry base. So yeah, click subscribe and let's continue cooking. So it's been about three minutes. I've gone in with some fresh ground black pepper, the curry powder, and I've got some garam masala that I'm going to go in there with. Heat's still on low. I'm just going to move that around. And it's important that your heat be on low because we want to toast this to bring out all that lovely flavors from the different spices which makes up this curry blend. And right away your kitchen should have that lovely scent of curry going. It will go darker. It will start to clump. But we're just keeping this going for about three minutes as I said. I'm going to go up with a high heat now, medium high or so. Start adding the chopped up cauliflower to the pot. And give that a quick stir. Really want to start picking up those, that wonderful base we made on the bottom there. In goes the chickpeas and what I did was, like I said, it's from one can of chickpeas. And what I did was, I opened the can, I put it in a strainer and I ran cool water through it, cool water through it, just to remove some of that sodium that it's packed in, it's going to be overly salty. In goes some Caribbean green seasoning. And I'll have a link for that down in the description of the video or you can check out uh, my other channel, Food FAQ or CaribbeanPod.com for that. We're going to go in with some salt, that freshly, that fresh chopped scotch bonnet pepper. And you'll notice here, I didn't use any of the seeds of the pepper or the white membrane, simply because that's where most of the heat is. <laughs> Boss, trust me, you should be wearing gloves when handling these things, but at least I'll be washing my hands with soap and water after. But do wear gloves, it can be dangerous for your skin. And the final thing we're going to go in there with is about half a cup of water. And now salty again, that nice sizzle. I'm going to give that a good stir because we want all that, all those ingredients to come together, to marry, and to create some lovely flavors. So all I'm doing is bringing this together now. Now remember the... Uh, the chickpeas would pretty much be cooked already being in that can So it's not a matter of worrying about that canned chickpeas So this and this is one of the reasons why we're using canned chickpeas if we were using dry chickpeas It would take a lot longer to cook bring that up to a boil Lid on there turn the heat down to as low as it can go and let that gently simmer I know we're going with a little bit of liquid here We want that to sort of steam and cook down nice and lovely 
it's been going now for about 15 20 minutes or so all of that liquid has dried up you notice there's no liquid in there this is pretty much cooked the way I like it taste it for salt and also taste for the well, not really taste it but the texture of the um, <laughs> I'm about to say broccoli again boy oh boy the cauliflower should be to your own liking this is perfect as it is I'm just gonna turn off my stove I'm gonna go in with some freshly chopped tomato just to brighten it up a bit and this is totally optional as well as some parsley now I would recommend using shadow benny if you have or cilantro which is coriander works really well with the um, the curry flavors give that a quick stir move that around and you're all done a lovely vegetarian dish like I said taste for salt mmm looking good eh? a wicked curry cauliflower chickpeas vegetarians <laughs> You can thank me later for that one. Courtesy at CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Give this recipe a try. Check out CaribbeanPod.com for more recipes. Click on subscribe. And somewhere over here, I'm going to have a link to last Tuesday's video. That one? Mmm. Crab cakes, but we added sweet potato to it. You're going to love it. Have a good one.